boys and girls. This is Dr. Nikki. I'm so excited to be back here with you telling more stories. It's storytelling time. And here we go. Today, we're going to look at a story where something happens. We don't know what. There's a change. We're trying to figure out what that is. That's the mystery. What happened? So here's how our story begins. There were five penguins. And they were just sitting on a rock chilling. And then all of a sudden, some more came. And now there's seven. So the question is, how many more came? Let me see if you can be really good problem solvers. Take out those tin frames and put five counters because there were five penguins to start with. And now I want you to figure out if some more came and now there's seven, how many penguins came? See if you can solve that. All right. I'm going to show you now a way that I did it. There were five penguins and some more came. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to count up. I'm going to add 6 7 Let's see. 5 plus what equals 7? Well, that would be I'm going to get my handy dandy pen out. That would be two. So I could write five plus two equals seven. My answer is two. And two what? Two penguins. Five plus what equals seven? The answer was two. And how I solved my problem was I counted up. I went five and then I went six, seven. I could do that on a number line. Watch. Oh, that's like a, a messy number line. I'm going to fix that, boys and girls. Here we go. First, I'm going to put my number line here. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some numbers because I want to show you how I counted up. If that was two, and that was three, and that was four, and that was five, and that was six, and that was seven. I could start at five because that's where I was. I was I had five penguins. And I could just jump up. Six, seven. So that's another way to do it. Right? I was at five. And I had to try to figure out how was I gonna get to seven? Six, seven. So I did it with pictures and I did it with the number line. Happy mathing, boys and girls.